It's like, I have AB minus CD equals A plus B plus C plus D. And I want to find what the possible um, values of N are that, for which this could happen. Uh, okay. So... Can I just ignore N for the moment? Can I just... Can I... I feel like I should just be able to solve it, right? Like, because knowing the value of N doesn't help you unless N is really small. So can I just solve it? Or maybe solve's not quite the word, but I feel like I should be able to like describe all solutions because they're given by this. Come on, that's the like. Who are you kidding? It's just this, right? Okay, so, um, <laughs> cool. Now that we got that out of the way, uh, so we're gonna do the we're gonna do the really amazing thing, which is called a uh, PQRS or something. So once you know this, what I can do is I can say, um, we're gonna call this one PQ. And we're gonna call this one RS. Like, the reason I'm doing this is, like, once I've written it this way, it's, like, obvious that you're... There's a, there's a lot of solutions, and you can just describe them all. It's not like it's a small, finite set. It's just, like, there's, a uh, four numbers whose products are equal, like... Okay, so we're gonna do this. Oops, uh, I missed the thingy. And so now, A plus B plus C plus D is equal to, well, lo and behold, PQ plus RS plus PR plus QS, um, which is, I believe, equal to P plus S, R plus Q. You really had to require ABCD positive, huh? It's like, there is one caveat, which is that I can't have P and Q R S one. I was almost- I was almost gonna say N should be any composite number. Uh, but... <laughs> if P, Q, R, S are all one, you have problems. <laughs> However, I think as long as like... Okay, actually, how bad is it? It's not that bad, right? Like, n equals 6 should work, because I can take... What is it? 1, 2, and 1. Oh, no, n equals 6 doesn't work, either. Uh... If you have a 1... Basically, if you have a 1, 1... I mean... 10 is fine, right? Because I can do 2, 3, 1, 1. And... Just in general... Like, as long as... If n is twice a prime, as long as that prime is not 2 or 3, you're okay. And if n is composite and not twice a prime, well then it's, you know, the product of two numbers that are... Do I have to worry about n equals 9? I can... There's a valid pairing for 9, right? Because you can put the 1 in... Yeah, no, it's just fine. So, answer. We can't have P equals Q equals 1, or R equals S equals 1, so we get that any... Any composite N other than N equals 4 or N equals 6 is okay, I think. That should be what it is, right? You know, 4 and 6, you run into issues because you do actually get forced to have a 1-1. One, one. But any other number, twice a prime is okay as long as the prime is big enough that you can split it as the sum of two numbers greater than one. And any other composite number can be written as the product of two numbers greater than two. And if there's at most one one in each part, you're okay. I think. Nine, nine is okay, right? Let me, let me, what are the ABCD? It's like... There should be a unique ABCD. One, one, two, one. Okay, so one, two, one, two. P, S, two. Let me, let me double check my schoolwork. Three, three, er, 
Hang on. I might, I might have flipped the thing I wanted. It's, it's C plus one that's the issue, not D. Okay, so P equals R, Q equals X, so on. So if I do one, two, one, two. Oh my god, come on. Today, today. One, one. Two, four. No, oh, that's not right. What is going on? Why can't I figure out how to do n equals nine? Okay, n equals nine is p equals one, r equals two, s equals two, q equals one. So c and d are both one. A is two. B is five. One one two five. Yeah, one one two five. Okay. This is how you know I'm getting old. Okay, this, uh, this is actually pretty funny, actually. <laughs> this is pretty funny. I'm with, I, I would totally give this problem to my kids. Just, I don't know. Okay, where's the link that to the... Demos? We add demo. Rama, Khan, Bang Khan, Square Man. Wait, are they gonna tell us? Oh, okay, I think. What? Well, I don't know how to classify this, so I'm just gonna write demo mock 2022 one. I, I think that's a reasonable. FAQ is this. Will there be negative marking? Yes, if you don't submit a geo diagram. Like, does that mean that if you like don't submit for a geo problem, your score is minus one? Like, what is negative marking supposed to be? <laughs> oh, my God, that's hilarious. Uh, and -da -da. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, that's a lot of people who worked on this. I also know a lot of them. <laughs> Man, they even got Vaskin. The MMP when you have supposed to write X will put that. Wow, <laughs> the first solution is. Oh my lord. What the hell is all this? Wait. Why are these solutions so long? Okay, someone got the, yeah, someone got the good solution. Uh, all right. Just like, see, the problem is with this kind of thing is like, there's no way the end matters that much because if you look at this equation, you know, if I told you the numbers had some like 2022, that doesn't do jack shit to help you, right? Like it, like n like does not put like any restrictions at all on the equation. So if they're asking for all positive integers n. All, it's just an extraction. Just solve the problem without the end first. I just... Uh, okay, anyways. Um, it okay, it technically tells you a little bit, which is that it reduces it to a finite search, where if you have a computer that can check all, I guess, like, n plus 3 choose... Er, no. n minus 1 choose 4 possibilities. I mean... I, then, sure. But, like, that's not what the proof is going to look like. Right? Like, you can't, for like a symbolic n, like knowing that there's only n minus 1, choose 3, things like does nothing. Uh, okay, anyways. <coughs> <coughs> uh, 
Uh, neatness is an okay tag. Uh, I love Pokemon Colorfly. No, I think this one's actually just easy. TST 2001 number one. Yes. All right, I need to advertise the stream. Okay, we did it!